Hi everyone, this is Scott Allen Brown with some uh, very sad, regrettable news to pass to once again pass along. Though this time I can confirm to you that this has uh, absolutely nothing to do with my family. That's the good news, even though we're still dealing with our personal uh, problems right now, and I'm hoping uh, all that uh, gets resolved very soon. Though, uh, the news I'm still about to uh, give to you guys is uh, very sad because uh, here in uh, the Harrisburg, Lancaster, Lebanon, New York market, otherwise known as Central PA, uh, we just lost uh, one of our best uh, sports broadcasters uh, this, uh, this, sad, this past Saturday as uh, Greg Mace... Uh, the longtime uh, sports anchor for uh, WHM TV, that's ABC 27 in Harrisburg. Uh, a guy, the same guy who has uh, been on the air for 40 plus years, um, passed away after a long illness, which kept him off the air for several weeks. Now, I know some of you outside of Central Pennsylvania. Uh, probably have never heard of Greg Mace or don't even know who Greg Mace is, but um, let me tell you something about him. Uh, Greg Mace started uh, working in this, working in this uh, area um, back in 1979 as WHTM TV's first weekend sportscaster. And uh, he became an anchor and a sports director the the following year and during his tenure at ABC 27 uh, he covered pretty much everything from Carlisle High School's basketball championships to the Phillies World Series victories in 1980 and 2008 he also had a passion for covering uh, high school sports such as, uh, of course, I just mentioned the Carlisle High School uh, basketball uh, titles. And he was also a huge, and I mean huge, Baltimore Orioles fan. And I guess it's safe to say that Greg Mace is, fits into the category of uh, one of Pennsylvania's greatest uh sports broadcasters of all time you know and there's other people that fit in that category as well such as uh harry callis of the phillies uh the late greg papa of wpvi action news um mike lang the voice of the penguins one of my favorite broadcasters ever and um I'm trying to think of others. Uh, there's also uh, Jim Miller, um, uh, formerly of WBRE. He's no longer with us either. Um, Jim Stone and Jeff Warner, uh, you know, they they were also great as well back back in their day. But yeah, Greg Mace was an uh, the one it was a one of a kind guy and. Um, he, uh, several years ago, he also used to um, sport a uh, mustache, a gray mustache that he had for so many years, but then came 1997 when he just decided to get rid of it. And, you know, he wasn't the only one that got rid of the mustache. We have uh, an anchor by the name of Evan Forrester. He got rid of his years ago as well. Um, I, not, uh, probably around the same time. I'm not, I can't seem to remember, but, um. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, Central Pennsylvania has suffered a a, a tremendous loss, and um, uh, all I can say at this point is that uh, my thoughts and prayers are uh, with uh, his wife um, Caroline and his son Kyle. I'm sure they're going to go through uh, what I'm sure will be a very sad Thanksgiving and holiday season and 
I may have used this. I may have used this quote before. Uh, it's a quote by uh, the legendary uh, football coach and broadcaster John Madden. You know, and um, one of the things I like to say about Greg Mace is, uh, God may have taken him away from us, but the one thing we're always going to have are the memories, and he and uh, Greg Mace provided us with. A lot of memories so um, but yeah um, if you guys can uh, just uh, keep uh, everyone at WHM TV and everyone else who knew or admired Greg Mace in your thoughts and prayers I know I sure will but yeah anyway that is uh, all I can say right now um, I do thank you guys for watching and Greg I just want to say we love you, we miss you, and most importantly, may God be with you always.